Is getting your bachelor's in respiratory therapy worth it? Yes and no. Honestly, it depends. Now, before we jump into it, again, you know, please feel free to like, subscribe, share this video, anything helps. And I'll link everything that I mentioned in the description box down below with statistics, new articles that are coming out, and the AARC executive summary. So make sure to check those out. I'm not just making this stuff up. <laughs> so again, yes and no. First and foremost, I personally am working on my bachelor's degree right now. I'm doing an online course because I plan to continue my education and then, you know, maybe do some other fun things in the future that I will talk to you guys about in another video. But let's just kind of stick with the basics here. If you are only concerned about the money aspect, as a floor therapist or working as a respiratory therapist, non-management, non-lead, anything of that sort, the starting salary is only about a thousand dollar difference. So that's not a huge jump, at least um, the nationwide statistic. Obviously that can vary from location to location, but the overall statistic shows about a thousand dollar difference annually. So that's not a huge difference. But if you're planning on going into management, research, education, or even um, you know pursuing higher education, such as going for a PA degree, medical degree, a perfusionist, anything of the sort, that is going to be very beneficial for you because all of those things do require a bachelor's degree of some sort, whether that's in respiratory care or health sciences, general sciences, whatever, you know, particular area you're going for, that is going to require a bachelor degree. So again, if you're not interested in going into management or any of those things, then a bachelor might not be necessary for you. But a lot of people also, you know, today they might say they only want to be working on the floor or in trauma or ICU where you don't necessarily have to have a bachelor degree today. And today is the keyword and I'll get into that <laughs> in a minute um then it's not really necessary unless that's something that your hospital requires and the reason i say this is about a fourth of hospitals in california are already requiring or preferring whichever word you would like me to use a bachelor's degree in respiratory care health sciences uh, health administration but a bachelor degree of some sort as well as i believe there was a statistic that i'll try to throw in the description box below that those who started out in a program that, um, you know, they had their bachelors before they took their boards, there was about an 86% pass rate, I believe, on the boards, as opposed to associate-only programs that, you know, vary from anywhere 60% to 76%. So it was a pretty big difference in the pass rates on boards just from the associate to bachelor level. Now currently the starting degree is an associate. So you can get your associate, do your boards, pass your boards, and start working with you know an RRT. Some states I hear they are still allowing certified respiratory therapists to work or they give them like a leeway period until they can pass their registration for their boards also, but that's slowly going away. And by 2020, the AARC put out an executive summary, and they've been saying this for years, but like I said, with things like a fourth of the hospitals in California preferring a bachelor's degree to start as a respiratory therapist, it looks like things are starting to slowly head this way, along with a few of the schools here in Las Vegas are actually going to bachelor's programs only to start for respiratory therapy. So again, I think I got sidetracked. By 2020, they want 80% of respiratory therapists to have their bachelor's degrees. And then by 2030, they are moving to a bachelor's requirement to start working as a respiratory therapist. And again, you know, those of us who started beforehand or with a certain time period, they will be grandfathered in if they do not have a bachelor's because in the executive summary it says that it's going to be bachelors of respiratory care or bachelors in health sciences healthcare administration bachelor degrees will not count or any other type of bachelors it needs to be respiratory care or health sciences 
So currently that's what it is. So basically those are just the facts. And I, again, I dropped all of these things in the description box down below. Let me know how it is in your city, your state. Do your schools only have bachelor's degrees available for respiratory care? Are there associates? What do your hospitals prefer? And the reason I ask this is too, is there a lot of other people watching that are curious about this? So this information will help them because in Las Vegas, nowhere is really requiring a bachelor's degree to work there yet, but it is something that the AARC is striving for to try to elevate the level of care that's provided and to keep up with the various other, you know, healthcare professions like nursing is going towards bachelor's slowly and there's a few other uh, professions that are going that way. So we're just kind of trying to keep up with everybody else. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Let everybody else know what's going on in your city, your state. Uh, just to kind of help each other out so that people have a better idea of if they should be getting a bachelor's or not. I've provided you the information regarding, you know, the what looks like is going to be a change eventually in the future for starting and what's currently going on. So let me know what you think. Again, like, subscribe, share the videos, and I will talk to you guys next time.